Hey y'all, what's up? This is I'm here on a YouTube video today. Now today's video is going to be another video about a man uh, with a sex crime against a child. Now this is one that is very severe. Uh, you know, 37 year old man impregnates a 10 year old girl in South Carolina. Now again, uh, this is my state in South Carolina. Uh, he has been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. He is charged with first degree criminal sexual assault. Now the assault happened while she was in her room watching cartoons. Uh, he then turned off the lights, began touching her, and then forced her into intercourse. And then obviously got her pregnant. Uh, the mother took the child to get an abortion. Uh, so anybody asking about the kid, if the child was in an abortion. Uh, the DNA test before showed that he was the father. The doctors proved that he was the father. Now, stuff like this is perfect. Uh, you know, this is about three days old. So, just like the judge said, you know, she should be getting ready to go back to school. She should be with her friends, you know, going shopping, you know, getting clothes ready for school, be ready to go back to school. But instead, uh, she was at the hospital getting examined, getting her clothes examined, going to court, having to see this person again. You know, stuff like this uh, really, really upsets me. And yes, he's in jail without the possibility of parole. But you know, all honesty, they should just put up death penalties for these people, in all honesty. I mean, there's no, yeah, I mean, like I said, he's in prison for the rest of his life without parole. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, this girl has to live with this for the rest of her life. It's going to impact her whole life. And I'm not saying prison is easy, don't get me wrong, you know. But, you know, he's just sitting in there. He don't have to do nothing if he don't want to. He can just sit in there the whole 24 hours a day, get three meals, and do nothing if he wanted to. While she has to deal with this for the rest of her life and suffer the rest of her life with it. You know, I, I just don't understand how people can hurt a child and then get them pregnant and have no remorse about it. Like, I, I don't get this at all. Uh, now, another thing y'all may be wondering is who this person is and why they she was in the house. Uh, they haven't said who he is. Uh, I'm assuming that he's related to her as they were together before this happened. Uh, but that being said, please keep this girl in your thoughts and prayers and the family and your thoughts and prayers. And thank y'all for watching.